I'd like to ask the Minister for Home Affairs what assessment has been made of the potential impact on the island of any disruption to data sharing between the UK and the EU in the event of a no-deal Brexit, as highlighted in Section 10 of the Yellowhammer documents, and what steps have been taken to mitigate any impact? Minister for Home Affairs, Mr Malarkey. Thank you, Mr President. Mr President, Section 10 of the Yellowhammer document refers to law enforcement and data that information sharing between the UK and the EU will be disrupted. In this connection, the Constabulary accesses EU data through its links to the police national computer and the fingerprint system and is checked on the Schengen information system. Mm. Constabulary is working closely with the UK authorities to ensure the continuity of the services under existing legislation. The Constabulary will continue to access the PNC and LiveScan with the UK system and it is believed that there will be little... Uh, direct dis disruption uh, to the access to the systems. Supplementary, uh, Mr Hooper. Thank you, Mr President. So my understanding of what the Minister has just said is that we will still have access to the UK crime systems, but those UK crime systems will no longer have access to EU-based information. So the question I'm asking the Minister is, actually, how are we mitigating that risk? Are we now unable to run checks on people from the EU? Do we currently run checks on them? What is going to happen after the UK loses its adequacy rating? Are we going to have to place more checks and procedures in place on the island? Broadly, what, what is the impact on the ground of us losing that connection through the UK to any EU data, if any? Minister. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm not quite sure what the Honourable Member is suggesting that we open negotiations with each of the EU members. Um, we will be relying on negotiations that the, uh, the police force in the UK uh, have with the EU. And I'm quite sure EU countries will also want to have access to uh, uh, UK citizens to find out whether they are criminals or, or have any access. So I, I'm quite sure that there will be continuity with regard to fingerprinting and uh, criminal records. And at this time, we have, we have uh, firm confirmation from the uh, UK police that, you know, that information, when they get it, we will have access to it, like we've always had access in the past. So we are not envisioning any great major change. And I cannot personally see that there will be a cut-off of that information coming from the EU, because it's just as important to them as it will be... Um, uh, to the UK Government. Supplementary, Mr Hooper. Uh, thank you very much, Mr President. So the Minister is quite sure there will be continuity. Has he received <coughs> similar assurances that the Minister for Health has received from his counterpart in the UK that there will be this level of continuity? Is he just assuming there will be no change? What, what is it that we have that we can rely on to make sure that we are still having access to this data about people that are moving across borders who potentially have criminal records who may be coming to the Isle of Man? I, I'm not personally, I'm not comfortable relying on the Minister's own personal assessment that there will be continuity of this relationship when it seems that no one else is able to provide that assurance. Minister. Mr President, the Chief Constable has been uh, in talks with the uh, UK constabulary and he reassures me that uh, everything that is continuity with the UK, we will have access to. So that's why I am quite confident that, uh, confident that the um, Chief Constable's talks with the UK Constabulary um, will be fruitful. Mrs Beecroft. Thank you, Mr President. Um, a similar question to my previous one. Do we have these assurances in writing? You know, do, will they hold water when the crunch comes? Minister to reply. That's it. I'm not aware of that at the moment, uh, Mr President. What, whether we have them in writing. I do know that the Chief Constable is in constantly uh, in, uh, in contact with the UK Constabulary and he has an extremely good working relationship uh, and I, I feel quite reassured that, um, that if whatever happens in the UK, the Isle of Man will be um, party to. As I said before, we cannot do it on our own. We cannot go into, into Europe and ask them to give us access to theirs, because I really don't think they're going to be interested in a, in a small island like us. But I am quite, um, I feel quite confident that anything, to what the present situation is, will continue, because it has to work both ways. 
Mr Speaker. Thank you. I'm, I, the Minister will be conscious that there's no such thing as the UK Constabulary, and I'm sure he's using that as a shorthand for a number of bodies. Um, so perhaps uh, when, when sort of reporting back to the court, he could explain whether that's the 43 police force in England and Wales, is that the Home Office, and does that also include the security services as well? Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I don't have that information at the moment, who exactly the Chief Constable is talking to, but I do have reassurances that wherever we're getting our present information from, that's where he's talking to, uh, to and um, that's where the information is coming from.